Natalie Portman, didn't she look ravishing in red on the Oscars red carpet? While the gown she wore, that vintage Dior dress from 1954, was adored by so many, it apparently made a really big impression on one couture collector in London who paid, get this guys, 100 and, no, sorry, that was aggressive, $50,000. Would you We're believe? Kidding, yeah, you believe? I'm not kidding. I did love it. Uh, $50,000 for this one of a kind frock. It turns out Portman borrowed it from a company called Rare Vintage, who then capitalized on the free advertising on that Oscars carpet. I mean, talk about product placement. Well, then they sold the dress on their website. Huh. It was gorgeous. $50,000? Yes, no, $50, I know. All right. Anyway, Saved by the Bells, Elizabeth Berkley has something she wants to share with all of us. Listen. She's very excited. She's thrilled to announce that she and her husband, David Lauren, Ralph Lauren's nephew, are going to be parents. Hey, the couple is expecting awesome. their first child this summer. And just to show you how many Saved by the Bell fans there are still out there, within hours after we put this news on our GMA website, almost 30,000 people had clicked on it. Wow. So wow. still a lot of fans. Huge fan. Huge, Huge fan. Saved by the Bell fan. Yeah. I was. I, I probably seen I don't doubt that for one second. My, mother, my mother's very proud, George. <laughs> <laughs> very, very proud. Hey, speaking of social media, um, Lady Gaga has just broken a huge record. She's the first to reach 20 million followers on Whoa. Twitter. That's 2 million more than the next most popular Twitter guy, Justin Bieber. Gaga attributes her success to the fact that she actually writes her tweets herself, chatting with her little monsters directly about everything from social issues to her eclectic style. Big milestone that is a there. 20 million. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm all about um, 20 million behind. <laughs> Closing in on you, Gaga. Yeah. I'm coming for you. <laughs> and finally, the Chinese have given us so many delicacies, and we have given them Dunkin' Donuts. The donut chain so popular over there now, the parent company will open another 100 stores, bringing the total to 250 outlets. And their top seller in China, not the glaze, not the Boston cream, no, it's the pork donut. It's like a jelly donut, only the jelly would be pork, and instead of powdered sugar on top, that would be seaweed. Miami Heat's LeBron James He's not a pork dumpling. will, kind of, except it's a donut. Uh, <laughs> he'll be running on Dunkin'. He has just signed a multi-million dollar deal to be the chain, the chain's Asian ambassador. They say he is quote huge over there, and this just in, he's huge here too. Here Everywhere. too. That's not a donut. No pork. It's dim sum. It's not a donut. Yeah, it's a dumpling. Okay, call LeBron. <laughs>